Till, in 2010, after the devastating earthquake, Haiti was provided by Monsanto 475 tons of seeds to help people who lost their sources of income. Haitians burned as many as possible because they were genetically modified. This needs more context. The Monsanto seed was free, true, but required millions of dollars worth of Roundup to grow properly, not free, and one of the first genetic modifications allows Monsanto to produce seeds, which will not produce fertile offspring. Haiti would have been desperate for seed next growing season. Several developing nations are essentially offer a barrel for Monsanto, after taking free seed. Haiti wasn't stupid. They know colonizer tactics. Yeah, Monsanto's f***ing evil. And it's not because GMO. In this case it's literally you will be forced to buy seeds from us from now on in perpetuity, which we are hoping you'll fall for under the guise of charity. GMO crops get a bad rap because of Monsanto. F Monsanto. On a camp with teenage boys recently, and as I was one of the camp leaders, it was part of my duties to help wake, said boys in the morning, at 6am or a similar ungodly hour. We, the camp leaders, found the most efficient way to do so was to blast music from a tinny little speaker one of us owned. So, before the sun itself has risen, we are walking down a corridor with 8 plus rooms filled with 6 or more boys in each, blasting the one, and only let it go from frozen, hoping to wake a few students, preparing for hateful commentary. Instead, what we got was the thumps and shouts of boys excitedly leaping from bunk beds, stuffing on shirts, and bursting into the corridor to scream the lyrics to let it go. Every. Single. Boy. Did this. As soon as the song finished, they acted like it never happened, and went back to their rooms to get dressed. You will all be pleased to learn that, provided with the zero gravity environment of scuba diving, it is not uncommon to turn around to see three or four teenage boys t-posing mid-water column. I discovered a nice little coffee shop near my apartment, and instead of thinking this is very convenient, my first thought was my life's coffee shop AU is about to begin. Update. I was at the aforementioned coffee shop, and this guy sat down next to me near the window. A pretty barista came over with his drink, and she said to him, This isn't right. You're supposed to sit at the counter. You're supposed to tell me stories. And the guy laughed, and they both looked at the counter, where all the spots were taken. And he was like, we could kick someone out. And she was like, I would do that. Which one? And they joked around a bit more, and then she went back to the behind the counter, and as soon as someone vacated their spot he moved all his stuff over to the counter, and I realized, this is not my coffee shop AU. I'm in their coffee shop AU. Be the best supporting character you can. If my future s slash o doesn't stare at me, like I'm their whole world, while I stand like a crackhead in the candle section of Target, smelling every single candle before buying one, then what's the point? My mom does this, and my dad always watches her. She thinks he's not paying attention, but last year he remembered the ones she liked, and used that knowledge to get her a custom scented candle for their anniversary. He had it named Target Sniffs. This is the cutest addition to this post I could have ever asked for. So, my mom likes to dictate her texts instead of typing them. The thing is, my mom swears a lot, and she's often at home with my impressionable little brothers. So she programmed her phone to type B whenever she said B and F whenever she said F. For a while, we all thought this was a pretty clever idea. Yesterday, she sent me a picture of my brother sitting in his car seat and crying. The caption was, he got stung by a bumblebee. No, you don't understand. This is gold. Oh my god. Till, the kazoo kid from Yuan Kazoo, is still an actor. He's 34, his name is Brett Ambler, and he's absolutely f***ing killing it. Fun family story. When my aunt was marrying her wife, everyone was really excited, but also dreading it, because my aunt is known for her insanely long speeches, so everyone knew her vows would be like 9 hours long, so when it came time for her to say her vows, she had a sh ton of cue cards in her hands, and even her wife started groaning, and my aunt took a deep inhale, and then unraveled all the cue cards, which were taped together. 
and they all just read hot damn in giant letters, and those were my aunt's vows. I googled, why do cats run around, and meow at night, and one of the results listed this as a cause. Simple zest for life. It's true. Could you get your zesting on at a more reasonable hour though? Zest has no curfew. I'm the opposite of a gatekeeper, I get into something, and won't stop talking about it, until a bunch of people follow me through the gates. Pied Piper. I hate when memes become outdated, and I have to deprogram myself from referencing them anymore. Whenever my mouth says this is so sad, my brain immediately follows it up with Alex a play Despacito, but I'm not allowed to say that anymore. You can do whatever you want. Time is fake, and you are valid. How dare you make this post uplifting and cute. If my parents can use slang from the 80s without even feeling self-conscious, then I can use a meme that's a little stale. Better sexy and racy, than sexist and racist. Probably the best sentence to both to put people in their place, and simultaneously start a party. So every morning I get off the train, and start my 20 minute walk to work, and there's this guy who's always like 3 steps ahead of me, and always beats me to the street corner, because I get stopped by the light, and he passes it. But today I was ahead of him for the first time, and he runs in front of me, turns around and goes, I've been winning for 2 months now, can't stop now, have a good day, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I swear, I'm wearing running shoes to work. Every single odd number has an E in it. Wow. What an interesting factoid. I sure am glad I was able to learn this, and not scroll through a 100 person long reblog chain. Sometimes it's just like, street lights reflecting off the wet asphalt at night, maybe life isn't so ugly after all. The f***ing cat finally got the cheeseburger. We can all go home. The internet is over. English. Hey, is there a German word for this very specific feeling? German. No, actually there isn't, and the one you found is made up. Finish, looking up with a mouth full of gravel. Um, German. You can't just make up compound words. There are rules. Finish. No there's not. You totally can. German. You can't. Finish. Yes I can. I'm gonna make up a word right here on the spot. I'm gonna call you person who humps body pillows. German. You can't just make words up. Finish. Whatever you say, Halitainen Alkitager. Found ticket is cuddling by the sea. This is more romantic than anything I've ever done in my life. When my brain manages to pump out some dopamine. Delicious. Finally, some good f***ing mood. A long sleeve shirt that says sleeves are bullsh. A shirt that says sun's out guns out, but is also long sleeve. A shirt that says I flexed, and the sleeves fell off, but the sleeves are definitely still there. Hash, really trying to get this one to take off. Huh, be nice to me. Me. I love you, but please, please do not step on my keyboard. Go a foot out of your way, and go around. My lovable yet ungrateful cat, a trouble girl and a fiend. You could sooner divert a river from its course, than deny my nature. Fkin raw line. My leopard gecko hasn't eaten for over a week, so I took him to the vet. Vet said he's extremely healthy, and the reason he's not eating is likely due to him entering breeding season early. I paid $97 to learn that my gecko won't eat because he's too fucking horny to anything. Can you imagine someone handing you a burger and you being like, I can't eat this, I'm too fucking horny. Also, like 10 to 15 years from now I hope someone makes one of those inspirational sports movies, except it's a 50 year old woman, who wants to play competitive online games, and everyone tells her she can't, because she's too old, her reflexes are too slow, etc, and she gets this grizzled trainer, except they are a 19 year old kid, who had a promising career until carpal tunnel syndrome ruined their chances of becoming the world champion.
so they train her, and she fking wins. The end. Movie of the year. The grandma. Stir. You're both hired. Till. English inventor Joseph Merlin designed the first roller skates for a masquerade party in 1760. Not bothering to practice, he smashed into a wall length mirror upon entrance. This is the best, most on brand way for roller skates to be introduced to the world. At any given moment there is a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do, and wants you to succeed. Imagine a rat using an airpod as a cane. Imagine that. Did you know, that proper pearl necklaces actually have knots between each pearl? This is done to stop the pearls from rubbing up against each other, potentially causing damage and discoloration to each bead, and also so that, if the string breaks, it's unlikely that any more than one or two pearls will fall off the string. Pearl necklaces and bracelets, for that matter, need restringing regularly to make sure that the string isn't stretched frayed, or otherwise damaged, which would put the necklace at risk of breaking, and when they are restringed properly, new knots are always tied between each pearl. This post brought to you by the stop making pearls scatter everywhere, whenever you break a fancy lady's necklace when murdering her, thriller writers, all you're doing is revealing, she was wearing shti plastic beads gang. But, the drama. Um? What's that? Oh, you don't like my seeds. Evolves into a fruit that bears no seeds, but is now a monoculture that is especially susceptible to pests and disease. How about that idiot? Don't vague post about bananas, you scum. Successfully profiled and found a lost cat. Thanks to a criminal minds binge someone tell the FBI to hire me. My roommate came to get me because the cat was missing. I paused the show and went outside, and I was all walking around the crime scene, like, okay, the kitchen window is open, and there is no screen, so he must have jumped out here, and ran off, and they were like, so he's gone. And I was like, we'll pretend I'm a cat. There are two ways to go, towards the street and the lights, or into the dark. A cat would choose the quieter dark spot, so I went into the dark, and they're like you're never gonna find him, but I said, listen. Spike was an outside cat before we moved, and he's been trapped inside, so I bet he ran to the most bushy and grassy area. They said I was full of sh, but you know what I found in the bushes? The fking cat BIM FBI material. When I woke up this morning, my first thought was no one visits my grave anymore, and I was really sad for a few minutes, so I lay on my bed with my eyes shut, and then, all of a sudden, I opened my eyes, and was like, wait, I don't have a grave, what the f, are you okay, am I ever? Till, that the route you need to follow through the hospital, in order to get to my psychiatrist's office is actually the modern day equivalent of navigating fee territory, and I should be a lot more concerned about this, than I am. I'm body positive. I got the results back today, and they confirm that I do have a body. My condolences.